No. <laughs> You don't recognize me, remember? Uh, hey guys! Hi! So today we're reviewing Stolen, and if you've already seen Taken, then you've pretty much seen the movie already. Just replace Liam Neeson with Nicolas Cage, and there you have it. So, we'll see you next time! See ya! Bye! But, what if they haven't seen Taken? Oh yeah, good point. Well, let's do it then. So Nick Cage is a bank robber who attempts to steal $10 million from a bank with his crew, but things go wrong and before being captured by the cops, he burns the money, but still goes to jail anyway for eight years. When he gets out, one of his former partners wants his share of the $10 million and kidnaps Nick Cage's daughter and holds her hostage until he gives him the money. And the rest of the movie is basically a copy of Taken. I haven't seen a movie like this since I saw Taken. Hmm. And then Taken 2. I mean, even the title, Taken, stolen, I mean, how obvious is it? So Nick Cage is pretty angry in this movie because the bad guy stole his daughter. Not only that, also stole his award for having the worst hair in a movie. I don't get why the cop was helping Nick Cage out at the end of the movie because he hated him at the start of the movie. When he got out of prison, he was there to meet him deliberately to, you know, make his life horrible. But then in the end, he helps him out even though Nick Cage was being made to do stuff by the bad guy that had his daughter, but Nick Cage still um, smashed cops in the face, crashed their car, killed somebody. Uh, like, he deserves to go to jail for that, even if somebody was holding his daughter. You can't go around smashing yeah. police officers in the face, and yet this cop just let him get away with it. And I don't like how it was so easy for Nicolas Cage to get out of situations like getting away from the cops. Where is he? There he is. Where'd he go? Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry about that. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. They're pretty. What do you think about these old men as leading action hero movies now? You've got Liam Neeson, who's in his 50s. You've got Bruce Willis in his 50s. You've got all the Expendables who are like in their 80s or something. God, those people are old. They're all, where are the young people now? What's happened to them? Are they getting back into it as well? Is he 60? Or is he still 50? He's old, very old. They're 60. old, they're old. And they're supposed to be these believable action men when they can barely move mm -hmm. without hurting themselves. There are no more young ones anymore. Where are you? Where are you up and coming action heroes? Jason Statham, even he's not that old. He's in his 40s, is he? Yeah, he's... He's alright, but... You know, like Justin Timberlake. Oh, oh he's... Oh, oh. I can't think of any other action people that I've seen that are young at the moment. Chris, Chris Hemsworth, Hemsworth. Chris Pine. But they don't really do the action movies. It's all the superheroes. Aside from superheroes, there's not much in the mm. way of action movie, uh, action heroes, is there? Mmm, something to think about. Mmm. And what are you going to score this one out of 10? I'm going to give it a 3 out of 10. Is that all? I'm going to give it a 4. It wasn't that good. Below par. The humour didn't work for me very much. It was pretty much just a rip-off of... thingy. And he robbed a bank as well! He even robbed another bank and still didn't go to prison. How does that even happen? So, unbelievable. Totally unbelievable. Nick Cage is an action hero. Unbelievable. Maybe in the 90s, it's not the 90s anymore. He but definitely looked different. I think he was wearing eyeliner or something to make his eyes pop because his face yeah. is huge now. Fat face. Okay, that's it for our review. What did you guys think? You can comment down below, you can press like and, you know, subscribe to our channel. Uh, look forward to you guys next week. And we'll see you next time. Bye.